I went out to record just before and I actually left the SIM card in the laptop so I've had to come all the way back and get the SIM card but while I'm here I'll give you a quick um, tour of the hostel That was the communal lounge room, I guess. And down here we've got reception. All the tour stuff. You can hire our motorbikes. One water, please. Ten baht. Oh, hello. Hello. Can I book uh, the temple? Sikrai. Yeah. Can when? I book it? Can I book it tomorrow or have to book it today? When you have to do? Monday. You can do it tomorrow. I can book it tomorrow. Mm. Okay. So. Monday. What do you think? Where Where is it? We can do it tomorrow. Gonna do a tour. <laughs> <laughs> This one. So I'll go to the in one day. Go to Chiang Rai, yeah? Yep. White Temple. White Temple, Hot Spring, White Temple, Golden Triangle, and Messai Buddha Card, and visit Hill Tri Village. I can't long Hill Tri Village. Include lunch. For 1000. Yep. Wow. Okay. I'll book it tomorrow. I'll do that. That's Monday. Okay. I'll book it now. I'll do it now. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll book it now. Chiang <laughs> Rai. สามเรียนทองคำวันจันทร์ี่3 1หนึ่งท่านค่ะไกด์ฝรั่งค่ะ so good all good all booked just like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> All right. So I booked the um, White Temple in Chiang Rai and Swati Cup and a day tour. A thousand baht including lunch. That is really, really cheap. Oh, I put um, Barocca in my water. It's a little bit of a headache from last night. So we're just gonna walk up here. No, no. We're just gonna walk up here and uh, look at that dog get into the rubbish. I'm gonna walk up here and get some cow soy, and it's literally just up here. <laughs> yeah, there's a restaurant in between these two temples, which is beside my uh, accommodation. But they said it's the best cow soy. I'll be the judge of that. So last night was a great night. We ended up going to a uh, spicy nightclub, as you saw from the footage from yesterday's vlog, or the last vlog. Um, yeah, it was a good night. I feel pretty good. The Barocca is, uh, is a bit of a lifesaver. Uh, yeah, had a really good night, made some good friends. As you always do in Chiang Mai, always make great friends. Thai friends too. Very lucky. So one of the guys that I met in Kaohsiung in Taiwan, he's uh, coming... Oh, he's spilt this everywhere. These bottles crinkle up too easily. <laughs> one of the guys I met in... Um, he's from the States or, or Canada, I can't remember. Um, 
he's coming tonight to my, to my hostel. Uh, he's on holiday for quite some time, lucky man. Um, yeah, he checks in tonight, so I'll have a couple of drinks with him as well, which is pretty cool. It's the best thing about traveling and backpacking and staying in hostels, you, you meet great people and um, people come and travel with you. I think this is the place here. Just, just in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Chicken's even better than the beef. Oh, wow. Okay. Hello. 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 This place is called Khao Soi Kun Yai. One cup. Uh, one cow soy uh, guy. Guy. Yeah. Uh, what do you recommend? Huh? Oh, you mean spicy or this one? Spicy again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure what she asked me, but I'm getting the. This is the place here. So I'm going to get the cow soy chicken. 35 baht. That's um, something special. It's a friggin' pigeon. Have a look at this. Just a, just a quick pigeon. So this place is on the north gate, so if you're looking at the map of um, Chiang Mai, there's the old city. Good job. Okay. Uh, chicken slice finished, but have a chicken leg, you okay? Chicken leg. Chicken leg, yeah, it's okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pigeons. Right. <laughs> Pigeon Central. So, if you're wondering what cow soy is, cow soy is um, get away is a uh, noodle soup with crispy uh, noodles on top with chicken. Um, that's kind of like a satay curry, kind of. Maybe something like that. Anyway, look it up, and if you've never tried cow soy when you're at your local Thai restaurant, ask for it. A lot of Thai restaurants don't do it. There's pigeons are everywhere. But ask them, um, and because a lot of the Thai restaurants in Melbourne, the cow soy isn't on the menu. But if you ask them, they will be able to make it. Cup. Uh. So we have. The cow soy with the crispy noodles, the chicken leg, and we have some chili with some pickled cabbage, maybe, and some onions, and a bit of lime. Tastes very different to the other ones I've had. Not as satay. You also got the soft uh, noodles as well. Remember last time I was in Chiang Mai, I got cow soy all over my bloody top. Mm. These soft noodles, handmade soft egg noodles, 
Amazing. And you've got the crispy, crunchy ones on top. Let's put a bit of fish sauce in. It's a Thai brand. Obviously. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. These pigeons, seriously. I have a new subscriber, he's sitting over there. He uh, saw the camera and he's like, what are you doing this for, TV or YouTube? I'm like, YouTube, yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, well, um, what was your name? Roberto. Roberto, where are you from? Oh, I uh, oh nice. Yeah. Your first time in Thailand? Yeah, my first time in Asia. I traveled oh, wow. from South America and now it's Asia time. It's a beautiful country, huh? Very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. So, from Spain, living in Switzerland. Wow. I want to go to Spain one day. Just let me know. <laughs> Food's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not only food. Yeah, the women, the food, the wine. <laughs> what more could you want? Thank you. Thank you. That was truly delicious. Uh, I definitely recommend going to that place. Um, however, trust me, it was amazing. However, there is a better place that does uh, cow soy, and I've been there in one of my old Thailand vlogs. Uh, it's this vlog here. Uh, it's called Kanjana Restaurant and I ate the cow soy there. That is just, to me, I, I think that's the best one. But that was very, very, very good. A very different flavour. Uh, I was just talking to the people on the table next to me. Uh, one of the girls there, she's a food blogger. Um, she's just starting up and she's asking me about uh, my sort of channel. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool to be able to have this um, YouTube and um, travelling and camera and it's, it's a great way to meet people. It's a whole different world I didn't even know existed. So, happy that I've got this channel and I'm happy in the direction that it's going in.